Yep, I've changed the studio around a little bit. You can see there's no more backdrop here for the first time in four, five years, I think. It's really nice having windows that actually work. But yes, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the studio. Uh, it's been really busy in here because of Marimba Fest, which is coming up in two weeks time. That's the competition that I run. More information at marimbafest.com. I had to write two new pieces for that. One of them is a sex tear and the other one is my piece Together, which is a 4.3 octave marimba solo. So that was a lot of work in addition to, of course, running the festival, but it's going to be really exciting. I can't wait to get that done in the next two weeks with my awesome team that I've been working with. I'm just so happy that this has all come together despite, you know, COVID and all that stuff. And yes, there's been a whole bunch of other things happening too, including my signature mallet series, the Encore Mallets Adam Tan series. These are coming out on 1st of July. So apparently they've already sent it to stores, they've already made stock, they're printing all the labels. This is crazy. But yes, I'm still keen to make videos, especially the segment that we're doing today, which is a Let's Watch. Oh, yeah, it's been a really crazy year so far. There's just so many things happening and I'm really excited to take you with me. But yeah, if you ever want to submit videos to the Let's Watch segment, it's at adamtimepercussion.com forward slash discord. Our discord is actually approaching a thousand members. It's like really, really close. I think it's only like a hundred or so off before 1000. So if you want to join the discord, it's a really fun place to talk to other percussionists and it's a really safe space for everyone. So go check it out. Okay, I'm going to switch microphones in three, two, one. All right, <laughs> I've missed you. Okay, so we're gonna check out the Let's Watch concert section because I'm preparing myself to check out some really amazing performances in two weeks time at Marimba Fest. So the first submission is from Erica Park. Hey guys, my name is Arn. I recently just recorded the snare solo, Tantrum by Kevin Bobo and would like to receive feedback on feed. I can't even talk feedback on it. <laughs> I don't actually watch snare drum solos very often. As you know, my snare playing is okay. And I think I've heard Tantrum somewhere before in an undergrad recital. I might remember it when I hear it, but yeah, I'm really excited to check this out. Let's watch. All right, so here's the video. And as you can see, Arn is playing on a very small snare drum. That's like a, I guess you would call that a piccolo snare drum. It's so short in height. I'm not a snare drum expert, obviously, <laughs> but it's been a long time since I've seen a piccolo snare drum because a lot of universities don't really have them here in Perth. I can see a mega score. So Arn has basically stuck a whole bunch of pages on a piece of cardboard and that allows them to see every single page in one shot. I used to make mega scores like this before I switched to paperless. If you want to see how to do paperless sheet music, you can watch my video over here. Yeah, like I said, I don't really feature snare drum solos that often on the channel. So let's go straight to the playing position. Oh, I like the text effect. Crisp roll. What sticks are those? Let me know what those sticks are on. Is that Moon Joe on the drum? It's a nice smooth roll. Woo! That dynamic contrast though. Wow, those buzz tricks are so clean. Whoa. Oh. Yep, distinction between close and open is really nice. Interesting air lift there. That's awesome. I love your rim shot transitions, very clean. Stick height looks great. Okay. Oh, that's like the biggest, like, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> nice drop down to pianist mode dynamic. Ah, fake lifts, fake lifts. Watch out for fake lifts. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Ooh. That buzz roll was a little bit pressy, but that's okay. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good dim. Oh, this quiet playing is great. Nice, good dims. Yeah, Arn's playing in the soft register is great. Very clear. Nice, I like that left stick raise. That's really nice. Yeah, I like that. Ta -da! The pop outs are really great. Oh, that's clean. That's clean. 
That's clean. I like that. Wow. Oh, that was very soft. Brilliant. I like the use of the forearm strokes. That's really nice to get the... Whoa! Look at these doubles, man. Oh, those press rolls. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> clean, clean, clean. Oh, I love the dangling arm. That is slick. Uh-huh. Okay, gradual bounce roll. Very nice. Transitions are good. That's a lot of that's a lot of fake lifts. Is that notated? <laughs> I think fake, like fake lifts are okay if they're leading to something, but if they're just repeated, it's a bit weird. I like the thumb press. That's cool. Ooh, ooh, wow! Very clean. And also, that snare just sounds fantastic. I'm not even a snare drum person, but I know a snare sounds, uh, when a snare sounds good, it sounds good. <laughs> oh, yeah, the tight and loose bounces, really clear distinction, that's great. Ooh! Also, yeah, his rim shots are so much better than mine. Oh, let's go. Yeah, nice. <laughs> this is too good. I love those those um they're not called herders, but they sound like herders. Oh Oh that finish Hey that's good. That's good. There's a lot of personality in the playing. It sounds awesome. I mean to me as a general percussionist the snare drum playing sounds really really crisp. Uh, the doubles are really clean, the press rolls are really clean. I really like the gestures, especially like the explosive bop bop, like when you're popping out those accents and you're lifting up really high, like almost up to your head height, that is really nice because a lot of the time when I watch snare drum solos in university level, they have you know, really great playing, but it's just like a very limited stroke height, very limited uh, use of weight. Now the fake lifts, I did mention fake lifts about three times just now and that's because I think when you have too much extraneous movement in the hand, like when there's nothing happening, if there's no stroke, but your hand, like your stick is getting prepared to hit the thing, you're going <laughs> it can distract from it. Now I'm not sure if that's actually notated in the piece, maybe it is, but generally speaking, especially in marimba, you know some people when they get to like a quiet section and then it's nice and quiet, everyone's waiting for what happens and then you get this like, it's very distracting. So otherwise, yeah, it's a really great performance. Honestly, uh, I haven't seen a really great snare drum performance in quite a long time, and this is just stunning. But yeah, let me know what you thought of Arn's performance in the comments down below. And if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, the next video is from Shenanigan Airy, and the person's name is Alex. Hey everyone, my name is Alex and I'm about to graduate high school and major in percussion performance. That's awesome. I hope it goes well for you. I'm assuming the school year would have probably started already or is about to start. Last night I performed at my high school with my friends for the last time and my favorite selection was Marimba Spiritual. For me, this is a combination of seven years of work and I'm proud of how far I've come. Well, the fact that you're playing Marimba Spiritual in high school is amazing. <laughs> that is incredible. And seven years, that this is like the perfect sort of piece to celebrate. So well done. That's This is so cool. That being said, I'm looking for any feedback possible. I'm always looking to learn and grow to become a better musician. Thanks. This is the mindset that I'm talking about that will always help you grow as a musician. If you're always open to constructive feedback, even when you think you've made it, when you've hit that sort of milestone in your life, like I don't know, maybe you performed a concerto with a world acclaimed orchestra or something as simple as you passed your final exam or jury in your university course. So I have to give big props to Alex for having this mindset like that. I really appreciate it so much and I'm so excited to see this because Marimba Spiritual, as you know, if you've watched my tier list video, is one of my S tier pieces. It is literally a banger. It is certified classic. Okay, 
let's watch. Okay, so here's the video, very, very spiritual. There's always three people accompanying a soloist or sometimes it's played as a solo arrangement. The drum parts are really fun. Uh, I've played in one of them before. It's awesome accompanying someone who's like a beast on marimba with your drum parts. You've got like these taiko inspired parts which can also be played on Western percussion instruments. And then at the front, we've got Alex, the marimba soloist. Now Alex has uh, marimba that is covered up with tape. <laughs> the, the logo is obscured, but I'm pretty sure this is an Adams marimba, judging by the frame shape. It's got that Voyager frame that I've always never been a fan of. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is like an Adams uh, soloist marimba. So uh, maybe Paduk, maybe Rosewood, I'm not sure. It is a four and a third octave instrument. And yes, you can play marimba spiritual on a four and a third octave instrument, which is just great considering it's an STF piece. But yeah, enough talking from me. Let's go. I'm so keen to watch this. Okay, so this is like straight to the second part with the with the drumming. Probably could have gone a bit harder on the ya. Yeah. <laughs> but the voice. Speed is Clarity is great, tone is great. The bright tone is really suitable for this piece. Accuracy is fantastic. Yeah, wow. Tempo is very steady. People like to rush in the spiritual. Nice, nice interlocking. Very good, yep. Do, 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 do. Oh, nice. Whoever's playing the bob goes. Too good. Yes. Very good. Oh, okay, we lost a little bit of the beat there, but that's okay. Yeah, just careful not to rush those laterals is what I'd say, but that's fine. Dynamics are very good. I like the pin accents, very good. Woo! Oh, very nice. Yeah, the, the vocal shouts need to be more. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's too soft. You should be like, yeah, yeah. Good drop down for the soloist. I like Alex's mallet height. That's really great. The balance is really good, by the way. And you notice that it sounds like bright, but not harsh. It's good mallet choice. I can see there's a softer mallet at the bottom too. Let's go. I do feel like there could be a little bit more energy though, especially from the drumming people. But that's okay. At least it's accurate and it's, it sounds good. Oh, that was a bit off. That's okay. Drumming it's blue. What was the yeah? <laughs> you, you gotta have the vocals. The tone. I love this bit. Uh, it's so sick. <laughs> like to think this thing is written so long ago, like 30 years ago. Tempo is getting pushed a little bit. Just gotta watch out for that. This is good. Alex's accuracy is great. And her bar placement is really good too. Oh, that one had a roll though, let's go! Yeah, these runs have the right intensity about them, which is great. And the stance that they're using is really fantastic. Look at that. Oh! Right, this is the part where the drum parts really need to shine. I also think the music stands should be lower. They're a little bit too high. And you can't really see what they're doing. You should not be filming the person drinking water. <laughs> Good solos. Very, very tasteful. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta watch the rhythm. Gotta, gotta, gotta keep the beat, keep the beat. Splits are good. 
at least they're counting together. You can see they're bobbing together, which is really great. But a li little bit of a uh, counting issue, but that's okay. Oh, look at this single stroke speed. I just wish the music stands were lower. Right, where is it? Where's the vocals? Where's the vocals? You gotta have the vocals, you gotta have the ya. Yeah. And you gotta have the ha, oh, you know, when you're doing the solos. Um, I'm pretty sure that's notated as well, so interesting decision to cut the vocals. The vocals definitely make a big part of the energy. This main theme is done very well by Alex. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Yeah, nice. Yeah, again, these pin things, so good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Companies are keeping really well as well this time. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, dynamic changes are spot on. Oh, nice. Very good. This one is like my least favorite one to play. It's, it's very difficult. Uh, the timing's a bit off, but that's okay. Oh, look at this. Laterals. Oh, very clean. Very clean. Okay, the yeah, ensemble needs to stick together. Come on, let's go. Alright, bring it home, bring it home. Here it is. Woo! <laughs> oh, very good. Absolute bangers all around. That is so good. So good. Again, the music stands. <laughs> if you move the music stands, it'll be so much better. But yeah, I think Alex did a really great job in terms of projection, in terms of sound quality, in terms of dynamics, uh, just general accuracy. It was very well prepared and it sounds really good. Like it doesn't sound harsh. A lot of Maruma Spiritual and other Japanese solos from that era, they can sound really harsh if played, you know, really heavily or forcefully. I also appreciate that the ensemble members aren't trying to overshadow Alex. They are trying to stay down for most of it. And then when it is the solo part, they do come up substantially. I will say that when you do the untuned solos, when you do the drum solos, definitely the vocals need to be in there it seems very quiet and eerie when there's no vocals it's just a bit like oh yeah here's the solo definitely when you set up ensemble stuff i always think you should have the music stands much lower unless there's a very valid reason why you need to have it high like for example if you're getting conducted in an orchestra and the conductor's like really high up like elevated position then yeah maybe you do need to have the stand higher or if you're in like a pit or something where nobody actually sees you playing yeah you can have the stand literally in front of your face if you want <laughs> on stage like that you could see that it was kind of detrimental to their performance because we couldn't actually see anything that they were doing we could just hear the drums and you kind of lose that kind of impact that marimba spiritual needs i think especially marimba spiritual because it's very explosive uh, there's a lot of energy. It reminds me of, you know, like people who are getting ready to fight. Now, of course, Alex said that they wanted more feedback. So aside from the fact that it was overall still pretty good, especially in high school, like that's really, really good for high school. I think definitely there needs to be more intensity all around. Um, Alex can do more maybe with the gestures, can lift them up a little bit more explosively. The ensemble players definitely can get more into a grounded stance and like lift their sticks higher. I've seen some absolutely smashing performances of Marimba Spiritual where they are doing like huge gestures and they're using a lot of energy, a lot of weight. But yeah, more expressive energy would be great. I think that just comes with time and a bit more practice with you know, trying to do explosive movements. But that being said, it's still a really great performance, Alex. Well done. Congratulations on finishing high school. I hope your university stuff goes well for you. And yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of Alex's performance because I love to hear everyone else's thoughts as well. And if you enjoyed today's return of Let's Watch, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. As always, if you want to submit more content, head to the Discord at www.discord.com forward slash Discord. I'm so excited to have so much support still for this channel and everything else that ties to it. Thank you for watching today's episode and I'll see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night.